I'm going to show you how to find eta squared, which is the effect size, and we're going to apply that to the independent t-test. Now, most of the independent t-tests, they use Cohen's d, which is fine. That is a great effect size. But this question was about eta squared, which, again, is used in ANOVAs, but it can also be used in t-tests. So there is a formula, and we would go to our online statistics thing to look up the formula. And we would scroll to E for effect size. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Effect size, effect size, effect size. Effect size, that's not us. Effect size, effect size. Effect size, keep going. Effect size. There's at a squared effect size, right? At a squared effect size. There's a formula. So all we got to do is take the T test statistic, which is what? Negative 0.987. Square it. That's the numerator, and then the denominator is going to be whatever that number was, plus this right here is the degrees of freedom, right? Degrees of freedom is the total sample size minus the number of groups. So let's go back to the data. So using that formula, we're going to pull up our calculator. Okay, our T-score is negative 0.967. We'll pull up Mr. Calculator here. We're going to put in point. Nine six seven doesn't matter if it's positive or negative because we're going to square it. So we got point nine three five. I'm going to round that to point nine four. Okay, so there's point nine four. That's going to be our numerator. Now we're going to add the degrees of freedom to that. That's twenty point nine four. That's what we're going to divide by. So divided by twenty point nine four, and that will give us our at a squared effect size. So roughly 0 0.446, 0 0.044, which is roughly this one right here. And that's how it's done. MGZ out.